Yo, yo, said Ali and Julie sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, intelligence ain't just showing off that you can count to 20. In the US, intelligence is so important that there's got an organization specifically for it called the Central Intelligence Agency, or known here as the CNN. And that is why he has gone to visit and interview the head of the CNN. Realize. So, Mr. Stansfield, what does the CIA stand for? Central Intelligence Agency. So does it help if you was intelligent if you want to get in? <laughs> yes. To get in, you need a college degree. Ain't that a bit racialist, though, that you have to be intelligent? <laughs> Isn't that a bit? Racialist, that you want allowing thick people. I don't think it's racialist. We can't use them if they're a bit stupid. But ain't that unfair for those people because they'll feel bad inside if you won't allow them in there. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Could I have a word for the CIA? I would certainly think so. You seem intelligent. Thank you very much. I've got two GCSEs. Right. Thank you. So let's talk about spies now because the CIA has also got to do with spies, isn't it? Is it true that you have certain female spies that you put a camera in their punani. <laughs> what uniform do the CIA spies wear? <laughs> they don't wear a uniform. They have to be as incognito as possible. Now look, uh, you go over to a foreign country. Now, we have a CIA person goes to country X. Aye. And in that country he finds Joe, who is willing to give us information. Who is Joe? Joe's a member of Country X. He's Aye. a citizen of Country X. Is it not dangerous that you is saying his name because this may be on the telly? Well, I mean, if I had a real name here, I wouldn't be saying it. Ah, this ain't his real name. I'm sorry? Is this his real name, Joe? I'm just making this ah, up. Ah, okay, all right, all right. I'll for, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about conspiracy theories. What about landing a man on the moon? Did it actually ever happen? Of course it happened. I've actually shaken hands with the first man on the moon. But how do we actually know that Louis Armstrong was actually stood on the moon? It was Neil Armstrong. Whatever. <laughs> how do we know? <laughs> I don't know. Has you ever seen the film JFK? Well, I mean, my understanding of the movie, Oliver Stone's movie, JFK, is that there was a conspiracy of one of my predecessors and the whole uh, cabinet of the United States to murder the president of the United States, and it's absolutely nonsense. That bloke who was in Dances with Wolves, he knows who did it. How come no one did it? I, I don't know who this bloke is or... In the film? Well, I mean, how does... What, what makes this film... True. I mean, well, how, how do we... It's, uh, it's a true story. Well, how do you know it's a true story? You're, you're questioning whether people landed on the moon, and now you're telling me you believe a movie. Aye, uh, for real. I mean, how can you believe that movie if you don't believe what went on on the moon? Because they spent millions of pounds making that. It wouldn't they have spent, made it if it was They right. spent hundreds of millions of pounds going to the moon. Aye. Uh, thank you, Admiral Turner. Respect. Big up yourself. Flicky! Next, we went to check out the ex-chief constable of Essex Police. Luckily, he had no links with the Berkshire Constabulary, otherwise we would have been fried. <laughs> what happens when you is arrested? The person is informed that they have been arrested and the reason why they've been arrested do most people in your experience of having arrested them is the first thing they say, it wasn't me, in that voice? Yes. In that voice? A large proportion of people will say, it's not me. Uh, there was something which used to be called the verbals. For so real? that when you arrested someone, you said in court, uh, and I said to the defendant, I am arresting you for stealing... Uh, this silver cup, and he said... It was a me. No, no, he says, fair cup, governor, uh, I did it. For real. 
Does the copper sometimes sing as well? Because I caught you red and dead. Because it wasn't me. And in fact, the police would then say, and he said, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. And I said, I caught you on and the kitchen floor. <laughs> Why do you think youths is turning into crime? Well, I think it's... Uh, uh, as old as uh, man himself as to why people turn to crime. I mean, everyone know that it's against the law to be a criminal and it's well bad and everything, what? But you got to admit, it's more fun being a gangster, isn't it? <laughs> well, I think it, yes, is at, it? I think it is at certain stage, but when you're languishing in prison, you begin to have second thoughts. But sooner or later it catches up with them, sooner or later they languish in prison. And they get bummed. And they get... Uh, <laughs> and even if they succeed, um, they live a life uh, on the Costa del Sol, they can't come back to this country. Yeah, who cares about that? that sort of thing. <laughs> but ain't the real reason why most people turn to crime is that they will get more punani yeah. being a gangster. Yes. I would say that the, apart from... Uh, crimes of passion, of which we touched upon briefly, the predominant reason why people turn to crime is for the very reason to make more money. And puny. Yeah. The poon -poon. <laughs> so shouldn't you send a very clear message to the youths out there? Yes, in the short term, you can get more puny, more muff. But in the long term, you will get bummed. Yeah. yeah. I think that's... Uh, a statement well worth making to young people. What is the best undercover job? Well, the one that obviously ends with a successful prosecution for a serious offence. Because we saw this film called Beyond the Call of Duty, and it was about this police officer who had to go undercover and find out whether these ladies was prosies. You know what I was saying? Mm, mm. And he actually had to bone them. And he actually did, because you could see his beast going in. <laughs> that must be the best one, what? Well, it certainly wouldn't be allowed in this country. And it has happened uh, on many occasions when, uh, certainly in the, the vice field, where officers have said, at that stage, I had to withdraw. Yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't withdraw. Well, he did once. And then once she blew his cover. Mm. How do you work out who did it? By collecting evidence. All right. Check this then. A man is found dead in a pool of water with a backpack on. How did he die? Oh, no, I forgot. There's a goose flying over. That is the clue. Um, well, you would say I want a pathologist, first of all, to determine how that man died. Did he die from uh, drowning if he was lying in a pool of water? Mm, not bad. Did he die from being struck over the head and fell into the pool of water? Mm, or goose. whatever. I'm not going to speculate as to what the goose... What's uh, the answer? ...the relevance of that, I don't know. I think it was the goose. I can't remember. Whatever. It wasn't me. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the N.A. What is... N.A. Well, it's D.N.A. Yeah, and it is DNA. The, It is your genetic fingerprint, <laughs> if we're using that sort of terminology. Is the N.A. worse than the AIDS? No, no. It's not a, a disease. It's not something to be fearful of. It's just something that everybody has. Is I and, got uh, D.N.A.? Oh, yes. How do you know I is caught the N.A.? Because we always well, wear I... a Connie, apart from that one time no, when no. she was so fit we couldn't wear it, because she was from this Apache Indian video. It is not uh, something which you contract from someone else or whatever. It's, it, took, it is not in any way like AIDS. It is a genetic formula which you have from birth. What else can you analyse the N.A. from? Any living tissue. Can you get it from jizz? Um, jizz. You have to explain that. You know, a man's, without being ruled, man soldiers. Yes. How does the copper 
get to match it, does he actually have to toss the criminal off? Yeah, you know, what would happen? No, no. When the suspect is arrested, uh, the DNA can be taken from any uh, body tissue. So, so he doesn't have to knock no. one out in court. No. No. So, respect. So all the peeps out there, we just want to say, stop thinking of coppers as if there is a bunch of, excuse me, French pricks. I is here with Chief Constable Burrow, and he ain't a prick, is you? Thank you for that. Here is some more of me and that zoomologist talking about animals and tin. Boom!